Hey everyone, welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. This will be the last episode of the uh, Red Crane in particular as it has reached its final form. Well, as you can see I've done some uh, detailing with some green and I uh, hope you like it. Because um, I'm not that good at detailing. You can ask me to build a uh, fully automated crane that moves containers. But you cannot ask me to detail Lego stuff because I'm not good at it. So I hope you like it. Um, I, I changed it a bit a few times. So I'm completely tired of it. I'm stuffed of it. And it's going to be like this. And that's it. Alright, let's continue with the topic of today. And that is the uh, dynamic system that determines where a train is stopped. Well, as you know, I'm struggling a bit with the train. Uh, where it stops because sometimes it stops here sometimes it stops there it's a, a problem that has to do with the train motors the speed of the train and uh, which is in every case a bit different so i came up with the system this is a magnet sensor here and there's a magnet underneath this point of the last wagon and based on that i can determine where the train has stopped so the train comes in and the magnet sensor is on this position all the way to that direction the train comes in it hits the uh, it, the uh, magnet sensor and the magnet sensor says uh, okay i'm reading the magnet now and uh, this this system then starts the stopping procedure for the train and when it does so the train will go on for a few stops and then it'll actually stop now this going on will be five stops or 10 stats or every, everything in between I don't know so um, like I said depends on the motor on the locomotive let me just shut off the uh, compressor shut up all right so um, now the whole uh, problem now is that uh, now there's no problem but I needed to solve it of course um, so I installed this movable uh, magnet detection like I said and based on that it detects the train when the train arrives the train is stopped and when the train is stopped this magnet here the, uh, this magnet sensor will move into that direction and will actually stop when it detects the magnet underneath the wagon and based on the position of the magnet I can then make a calculation of the offset compared to uh, the stopping position of the middle car of the monorail the monorails always stop at the same position um, so that's like my reference point and based on that I can calculate the coordinates for the train now as you can see I don't know if it's visible there are some coordinates here that you see that I use for the uh, for the system and uh, those are the base coordinates the reference and based on that I de um, calculated the, the offset for the train so let's do two tests now the first test will be with the uh, train in in like this position and we'll do a, another test in this position to see that the whole system works so we're gonna see if the uh, magnet will be somewhere around here all right so now it can see the uh, the magnet um, yeah let's just fire up the system I need to uh, fill the uh, the air tanks and then uh, let's have a look all right the air tanks are filled i'm going to enable the powered up hub it's going to connect with the microcontroller on the crane there we go now the crane is going to its initial position you can hear something moving here now you can see the uh, magnet wheel going and now it's looking for the magnet on a train there we go I have to hold it otherwise it'll move a bit normally I have a locomotive of course I'm seeing that this is not completely all right well, it's not entirely straight onto the monorail that one is all right so there needs to be some fine tuning, but that's just uh, minor details.
Oh, this one is completely off. <laughs> Didn't expect that. I don't know what happened there. Because the other two are correct. So the offset calculation was correct. But somehow it could totally miss this one. Alright. It's back in its initial position. Um, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna upload the sketch again. Um, I cannot access the reset button of the... Uh, microcontroller which is inside there somehow so um, I need to reset the whole system by just uploading a new sketch so that's what I'm doing now I'm gonna pull this one a bit back to its new position and then we're gonna check uh, oh crap the cables is, isn't in one moment <laughs> I'm gonna enable the power up hub again and let's see what it does now. Going to initial position. Now it's going to look for the magnet. There we go. Losing up the uh, pneumatic system and there we go. This looks promising. Now let's see if uh, returning containers will go as smoothly as placing them. Uh, th that one is a bit off. Uh, this one was the problem before. Uh, let's see how it does now. Yeah. Somehow, <laughs> it did move. Let me just finish with this one. Alright, so, somehow it didn't move to the correct position. It was getting this container, and then it was moving like this, but it didn't move in this direction. Now they are pretty aligned if you can see, you know, so I don't know exactly what happened, but it didn't go. Are they completely aligned? Almost. So now there's just one start of difference as you can see. So if I can move this one over here, it would end up exactly here, but it ended up here. So I don't know what happened. I'm hoping that it isn't a problem. I, I need to solve it for uh, first, of course. I'm not hoping it's like some some offset or something that is some mechanical offset that is now occurring because it has done its job very good previously. <laughs> so <laughs> there's uh, I just have to dig uh, dig inside uh, the, the the code and and see if I can fix this problem. Well, this is it for now. Um, I was kind of hoping to to show you to show you a crane that was working completely, but as you can see, there are some glitches that I need to uh, fix first. So this is it for today. Thank you for uh, for watching. I hope you liked it. If you do so, please like the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. Have a look at my main channel, and uh, I hope to see you next time. And then um, I probably have a working crane, and we're gonna have a look at the. Uh, layout on the floor we are in the combination of the the red crane and blue crane and the track layout for the trains and stuff like that see you then bye